Good morning everybody, welcome to Scott Rods. So, we've made it go, we've made it steer, let's make it stop. Right, let me show you what we have to work with today. So we have the Amazon Special Brakemaster Cylinder. It was like $35, $40, pretty cheap. I painted it and it's still rusty, so I'm not keen on using that, to be honest. It's a bit clumsy and it's very heavy. I made this bracket for the proportioning valve, a combination valve, sorry, okay, which I require, trust me. And that bolts straight onto there. I'd rather not use this because Ted sent me a brand new power booster set up brand new never used and it comes with a modern style master cylinder with a nice little easily visible uh, fluid chamber so you can tell it's also got the wiring for oh my god you're running out of fluid sensor as i say brand new so it would be crazy not to use this as a whole i'm sure if i really wanted i could get this to fit there but what's the point? Let's face it, this will work. It's going to be covered by the hood anyway, so you're not going to see it if you're worried about it looking too modern. So that's that taken care of. So obviously, if that bracket there fits, we're good to go for plumbing. However, we've got this side to think about. So I need to construct a brake pedal. And I'm going to use it, sorry, I'm going to make it using 316 steel for the pedal, which is pretty thick. And this. Let me draw it out and that will explain what I'm up to. Right, let's start off with the firewall. Okay. So this is from inside the car. So I have drilled my big hole and the four little holes for the bolts to come through. So this is where your the inside of your master cylinder comes through, or your brake booster. So you've got your little uh, rod with its little thing for the clevis pin, all that stuff, okay? So that's the inside of the car. So pedal wise, I'm going to construct a plate on the inside that gets attached to the firewall, but it will actually be kind of that shape because I'm going to attach a tube going from here to the dash okay roughly like that and then it'll have a plate on the end that will attach to where the steering would normally locate now on mine I've actually relocated the steering over this way a section so I've got those two holes available so as I say you've got that tube there that I showed you earlier is going to attach to that metal plate that surrounds the the booster bracket. So it's attached to a metal plate and this bar that goes to your dash. With me so far? I will turn this around and I'll do this in more detail, okay? So this is that uh, tube that I'm talking about. Oh no, I've messed that up. Let's try again. Now, persevere, persevere. So all along this tube, there will be holes. Okay. And basically the brake pedal will attach to the inside. It's not going to be a solid tube, there's going to be a gap in the inside. Okay, there's a gap in here. So the pedal will, let's say it's attached to there. It will hang down. And then there'll be a, a foot rest at the bottom. You get the idea. And then from here there will be the attachment for the push rod going into the booster. This isn't a new idea. Speedway sell this kit, but I'm not paying like 200, 250 when I can make it myself. So step one, I'm going to make this plate. 
Hardest part's going to be drilling that hole, because as you know, I don't have a hole cutter. <laughs> so this will take a while. Back in an hour or ten. Not a word. Dear Santa, I have been a very good... I have been a good... Dear Santa, I have tried to be... A uh, very good boy this year. Can I please have a metal hole saw for Christmas? Kindest regards, Dave aged 52 and a quarter. Ace Claus North Pole. Right, let's see if it fits. Lovely. I'll just uh, clean up the sharp edges. I'm not even going to bother making that perfectly round. What's the point? It fits. No one's ever going to see it. Okay, clean that up and then drill some holes in the firewall. Right, first thing I'll do 
small hole on the from the inside out so that I know the plate's going to be in the right place. I'll grab the booster thing. Yeah, that's too far in. I'm going to bring it out a bit there. See how that looks. Yep, that's far more acceptable. Right, so now I just need to drill another four small holes and one big giant hole. It shouldn't be too bad this time because the firewall is much thinner than that 316 plate steel I was doing. Right, let's do that. Oh, I didn't realise how thick this bondo was. It's like more than a quarter inch thick. I'm going to have to get rid of all of that. Yay, more work. I feel I need to point out, this is where I got the car full of Bondo, okay? And ideally, I would completely remove it off the front, but that's not what I'm doing today. I'm doing the brakes, okay? And if I really want to get the front metal again, I'll do that at a later date, but for now, brakes. Now we can move on the inside. And yes, I did make sure it fitted with the hood on. I mean, it's close. Close is good. That'll do. Right, inside. Right, next step. I need to size this bar or tube. That's going to get welded to that plate and it's going to, to attach on the inside of the, the dash itself. It has to be straight because the pedal is going to hang down from here. And as I say, I'm going to make multiple pivot holes along this. And obviously I still need to cut a whole channel out of the underside of this rod. So the first thing I'll do is I'll measure this so that it sits straight and on the inside. I still need to make a little bracket on this side to attach to the dash. Just two bolt holes, it'll be fine. So I'll get with the sizing and then we can get on with the fun stuff of actually making a pedal.
Right, let me show you where we're at. I've made four separate holes, well, eight holes, four sets, to give me fine tuning. So that section gets welded to that plate that I made earlier, okay? And the brake pedal is going to hang from one of these, okay? And the push rod is going to be a bit there, hence why I've got different areas to adjust. Now, <clears throat> one of the things I, I read about the Speedway one was that there was, there was a bit of sideways movement. So I wanted to eliminate that possibility. <clears throat> so I invented this. This was much bigger. And it's basically sort of white bearing material that rotates on that. You just grease that and it's, it's nice and solid. So the plan is that will go in there and the brake pedal will uh, it'll be about that wide and there'll be a big hole in it and it'll go slip over that and then get welded onto this section. Does that make sense? Now I've made the inside section a little bit wider than that section so that when you tighten these up this should rotate but the inside should be solid on, on this. Let's try that theory out shall we? And yes, I know I hate Allen keys, but these were the right size and they're nice and uh, low profile. So the inner is tight and that still spins. As I say, there'll be some grease in there just to make it a bit more lubricated. So, need to make the pedal now to fit that and not hang down from there. We're nearly there. Right, pedal design. Actually, before I can do the pedal, I need to mount this in the car so that I know how long the pedal is going to be. So I need to make the little bracket for the end that attaches to the fire, firewall and once I've got that section made then I know exactly where this gets welded onto that plate. So I need to do that. Right, I've got my bracket mocked up. So I'm going to tack it, tack it on there, tack it on here and then take it over to the bench and weld it up properly. And then put it back and then size up for the pedal. So much fun. It's very hot today. Right, let's get this welded up. Oops. That will do. So now I need to reinstall this again so that I can start mocking up the pedal because I've no idea of the height at the moment. I'll probably make it out of cardboard for now. So this is my exquisite designed brake pedal. I'm sure it'll look better when I'm done. <laughs>
Right. So that's my brake pedal. This is just press fit in at the moment. It's pretty tight, but it'll give me a good idea. And if it's if it's in the right place, then I can weld it on. Bottom, that needs redone. That's disgraceful. But it'll do for now. So I'm going to be putting something like this in the bottom. I think that's off the bottom of a table or something. You know, a table adjuster. It's something about that size, similar idea. That will slot in there. So let's go and throw it in the car and see if it does anything. Right, it's fitted. Would you like to see? There is some mild adjustment still to do, but it works. Oh, let me just kneel on this. So, I'm perfectly pleased with the bit up top. Absolutely fine, nice and solid. The pedal itself, it's a bit high. I can extend this down a bit. And obviously this will be bigger and I can adjust where it starts to make pressure but it works and there should be enough clearance at the bottom as well but as I say this is just about two inches too high and that's okay I can weld on weld on a bit more metal I've still to make a proper pad but for now I can actually plumb in my brakes. Happy days. Well, that was 12 hours. And look at me, I look like a homeless. Oh, I need a shower. Anyway, the pedal's done, the bracket's done. Pedal could do with a bit of adjustment, but it'll get me going, which means I can start plumbing in the brakes tomorrow. Hallelujah. Right, thanks for dropping by. And please subscribe if you've not already. I appreciate everyone joining in the fun. Leave a comment. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.